The broadcast you're about to hear is a special sports presentation brought to you by WPEXFM 90.9. Hey, take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Because it's one, two, three strikes. to Miller Field and welcome back to game two of this double hitter. It's Rotary going up against the chamber. I'm John Hart along with Robbie Hart and I'm doing the play-by-play. -play. Robbie's over here doing color commentary also. He's got all his cameras set up and uh, even though they may all be still cameras, hey, okay. we're going to try to get the best shots you know, that we can. It's tough to find good help these days, especially when your own system doesn't want really to help you. Ah, okay. Well, one of the things for sure, this will be the last game, last season game for a lot of the Rotary players and actually a lot of the Chamber players as well. Okay, starting all things, Matt Hart will be starting all pitching and he's got three innings left. Just uh, three, so we all see Just three innings and then they're going to have to bring in one of the other uh, backup pitchers for Rotary. Yeah. Uh, well, like I said, and, I, and the trouble is, like I said, Josh been having struggling this year with throwing consistent strikes, so see if he can kind of buckle down and make a good run at us for his last game here after that third inning. I imagine he's going to go something to a neighborhood of uh, Matthew, Josh, then uh, Lawson to end it out. Uh, yeah, Peyton Lawson to end it out. Well, uh, Matt has had, had just one great year this year oh, yeah. in pitching. Um, in fact, I, and I mean, I, I'll say this, and, and I even told Randy Webb this earlier, I think if, if the last game against Legion, when they went up against Thomas Parrish, I believe if Matt was in and left in there, I believe uh, Rotary had a good chance of pulling that ball game out. Well, hindsight's 20-20, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there's a lot of ifs. I'm assuming that and Matthew could by, have by, kept by, up the by pace. Pull, yeah, by pulling him out in third, and he is available to be played today, so that does help today anyways. And that's basically a half a game if you want to look at it that way. Yeah. Um, especially since uh, Legion has pretty much uh, dominated the uh, chamber the last couple times they played. So, you know, it really, you know, really the, the loss, mistake, on what, the loss it call and it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, maybe mistake. It wasn't a blood game. It was four to four to one. It's not like they got they got destroyed in the game. You know. Basically, what happened with Legion? Legion is, unfortunately, Josh kind of ran out of gas really early, and he. Um, after just being in once two innings, and he walked a bunch of people. Then, of course, uh, what's his name came in there and just hit back with the defense and brought in three runs just like that. And that's only and that's only reason that game turned out the way it did. Well, after this, after this game, it will be the closing ceremonies, and also they'll unveil the all stars. And like I said earlier, that this game you're going to see a lot of all stars that's going to be on the roster this year. Between these two, you know, between these two teams. Yeah, I imagine so. DJ Coleman that plays for the Lions, he is. Um, oh. <laughs> he is also uh, will be will be subbing in for the Lions. I mean, subbing in for uh, uh, be playing for Chamber this week. I think it's kind of, of a trade there since R.D. did play for the Lions last week. So Matt's just up on the. He'll just kind of warming up a little bit. One thing about uh, a couple of these players, mainly, and, and, and of course Matt, they've all been approached by some travel league teams, so there is life after. The only trouble is that I'm pretty sure that uh, most of these players would be like to get together and, and keep the, uh, all, you know, play on the same team. Well, things change. People move on. I mean, you got Oh, yeah. You, got, you, got, you kind of got to split up according to what your abilities are, too. I think they're getting ready to play here. The Joe calling balls in, so I think we're about ready to go Joe, ahead and start up speaking here. Speaking of Joe, Joe Jackson, he's the umpire that's going to be calling him behind the plate. We're talking about Matt Hart. He has pitched, well, pretty much a very accurate game this year. Only ran into trouble just a, just a, very, just a couple of times, really. Most of the time he's been able to get himself out of it. Yep. 
So he's had, uh, like I said, uh, I want to, uh, and I will dare to say, he's, you know, he's the best pitcher in the league, in the Blackstone League, anyway. I'd say so, in the Blackstone League, yeah. So here we go to start of the game. It's the Rotary in the chamber. Official start now. I mean, Perkinson. Ian Perkinson will be up next for the Rotary. Yep. Up first. Chamber. A chamber here comes out of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And there for strike. And that was one. way inside and way low. And uh, Perkinson went after that one the whole way. I don't think he even looked the ball. It would be interesting to see exactly. It. You can see better than I can where the targets are at. Yeah. Anyway, right that's going to be in there for strike number one to Steve Perkinson. Here comes next pitch. Swing and a miss. Another inside one. That one's going to be in there for strike number two. That's two. And I bet you I know what the manager of uh, our our uh, manager of CC's pricing right now is saying. Don't swing at them if they're inside like that. Don't do that. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. You got to wait. All right, no balls and two strikes. Matthew winds up. Here comes down the pitch. And that one's going to be foul back. Steve Perkinson swung way late on that one. That one foul tipped. And that still came, remains no balls and two strikes. Matthew now looks. This will probably be some sort of change up. Here comes down the next pitch. Way right. high in there for ball one. One ball and two strikes. Cooling off quite a bit here at Miller Field. It was a hot one today. Went to oh, yeah. 100 degrees. Probably about 85, 86 now. Matt winds up with a 1-2 count. Here comes the pitch. Uh, Way low. 2-2 two two comes yeah, the I got to say, Matthew's having a hard time finding his target tonight, though. I don't think he's thrown really a clean strike yet. It's all been uh, a lot of, I'd say, Perkinson's been kind of giving to him those first two ones. Here comes out the pitch, and that's a swing, and that's going to be foul back, and the count still remains 2-2. Two two. That looked like a pretty good pitch there. Mm. I don't know, it froze up for a second, so I couldn't tell. So two balls and two strikes now to Steve Perkinson. Matt looks and winds up. Here comes out a pitch and a changeup foul back. Burr, he's pitched uh, seven pitches just to Perkinson alone. He just eased that one in there, though. Yep. Well, I don't think that tired out Matt's arm whatsoever. Well, he is still sore from that workout Monday, so he's telling me he's still a little sore. Two balls and two strikes. Steve Perkinson here comes to wind up in the pitch, and that one is a foul back once again. Steve Perkinson is just trying to stay alive. He's getting a hold of it. He's just basically got his back, maybe back up in the plate a little bit. And, uh, get, he should, he's pretty close to Matthew's timing at this point, I'd say. Drew Pumphrey will be on deck for the chamber. <laughs> two and two is the count. That is Steve Perkinson. So Matt Hart into the wind-up position. Now looks... Starts his wind up. Here comes now the pitch. And a nice pretty and he fouls it again. That's uh how many fouls is this right in a row? There's like four fouls in a row. Thanks, <laughs> right, quite a bit. Quite a bit. I tell you, I see Randy trying to give him the curveball sign. And this is going to be a chip shot to Matt. Matt's going to easily throw it to first base. And that's going to be the first out. That brings up Drew Pumphrey, one of the few players this year who's actually had a, 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 I say a, a little bit of luck here against Matthew. Up to that, Drew Pumphrey. Only one who's hit a home run against him this year. Yep, and that was that Toledo. It was like the second time they played. Yep. And Matt looks. He winds up. Here comes down a pitch. Swing and a miss, and there's strike number one. Matthew gunned that one down there. That was the old Matthew Hart we know and know, right? Matthew can really let that, it can wind that spring up and let it loose when he wants to. Yep. No balls and one strike now to Drew Pumphrey. Drew's one of the best hitters in the league. Here comes down a pitch, and he gets this one right up the middle. And he gets and lets it by, and Drew Pumphrey will go to second base. Well, nice hit by Drew. Yep. Nice pitch by Matt. Actually, it was you know nice, nice fastball. But Drew's been able to get he's been able to get hold of Matthews' fastball all year long. Yeah, doesn't really quite have a lot of speed to it though. I mean, I, I'd say that he's I, Matthew seemed to be pitching on the lower end. He's not throwing the consistent high speed like he usually is. At least I wonder if that sore uh, chest is bugging him a little bit today. Matthew winds up. This is RD up next. This one's going to be foul back. Strike number one. 
Matthew can only pitch three innings. We're going to have to bring in one of the other pitchers. Yep. Matt looks down now, takes aim, winds up here, comes down to pitch. And this one's going to be a changeup, right? Nice changeup. Nice all speed pitch now being there. Yeah, for I think uh, RD was, RD was, uh, didn't see that one. Was expect that one to fall down. It just did not. Now Matt will probably do something weird on here. This one's going to be a change-up, strike three. And R.D. continues to struggle out here. Yeah. And he strikes him out, and that's Matthew's first strikeout. And that's going to bring up uh, uh, Josh, Josh Bronson. Bronson. Yep. D.J. Coleman will be on deck. Here comes down a pitch. Swing and a miss in there for strike number one. Well, that one up, didn't he? Matthew shot that one down there. That looked like that was close to 70 miles an hour right there. <laughs> oh, Josh is trying to get his feeling back in his hand there. Yeah, He's moving Josh his hand. I don't see uh, Josh uh, usually wears a glove underneath his, his uh, glove, his uh, catching glove, but he doesn't seem to be wearing one today. Here comes the 0-1 pitch. That one's going to be low, ball one, one ball and one strike. I think that was a try to come get me pitch. Yeah. Uh, that was just kind of. Didn't really have a whole lot on it, as far as speed-wise, anyway. One and one now is the count. They got two outs. Who comes out of the pitch? Matthew oh. sprung that one loose, though. That was fast, but that's going to be low for ball two. Two balls and one strike. They got two outs. Here at the top of the first, Chamber and Rotary, no score. Chamber has a runner on second base. Here comes now. Matthew winds up. Here comes the pitch. That one's low oh, again. once again, and that's ball number three. Yeah, you know, it's a Matthew seems to be having a little trouble today hitting his targets. Usually he's right in there, you know, bang right in the area, but these are going up and down kind of wild. They haven't really zeroed in like they usually do. Three balls, one strike. Matt winds up, here comes down the pitch, and a nice throw, That I mean, nice pitch, and that's going to bring the count to full. Three balls and two strike, and that was a good pitch. Yeah, that was a good pitch. And Josh kind of got a hold of that one. Three balls and two strikes with two outs. 0-0 zero, zero is the score. No score at all. Who comes out of pitch? Uh, that one's going to be walking. high. Ball four. Matt's going to walk. And that's going to bring up D.J. Coleman. I put two runners on, run on first and second. Now. One of the things that you look over and Randy is giving Matt a lot of Curveballs to throw, and Matt is shaking his head and said, "No, yeah. I'm not throwing that." Supposed to be throwing curveballs, yeah. It's just, these kids are too young to be doing that. Here comes now the pitch. That's a straight fastball. That's going to be in there for strike one. Nice pitch by Matt Hart. Yeah, I, I know it goes against some of the coaching wisdom of this league, but really, you know, 13 year olds—that's just, just too young, especially for a high-speed pitcher to be pitching curveball. You can dance, hurt your arm so badly that way. So quickly too. Here comes now the next pitch. That one's going to be low, and everybody threatens to steal, but. No one's going to go nowhere. One ball and one strike to D.J. Coleman. Height, <laughs> Yancey, and Wilkinson will be following. Coleman, here comes down a pitch. Foul back, striking number two. Maybe one more pitch to get out of this inning. If he can throw a good strike in there. Like you said, Matthew hasn't been in the zero in like he usually does. So we'll runner, have to see. If that runner on first and second. Here comes the, probably a fastball. It does. And that ball is fouled back. And, it's, and there are a lot of fouls. Man, there's a lot of fouls. Can you bring Kyle home? Yeah, I'll bring him You mind? Yeah, no problem. Okay. So one ball and two strikes now to Coleman. That looks over there. Ames shoots and a swing and a miss. Strike number three. That will retire the side. That's another strikeout for Matt Hart. So, two men left on base, but nobody scores. It's 0 0, and we'll be coming up at the bottom of the first with the rotary coming up. We'll be right back right after this. These are not your ordinary doctors, they are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, 
Call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crewe. The accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. All right, we're back here at Miller Field at the bottom of the first. Nothing, nothing. Chamber going up against the Rotary on a nice night for baseball. It's cooled down quite a bit. Yeah, it has. Make things a little bit more pleasant. Nice cool in the AC now. Now the AC's kind of start working. Josh Bond, <laughs> Josh Bond will be up pitching. He's actually the, the uh, here comes the pitch and the hard hit ball. Pop up. That's going to go to DJ. Actually, he's going to go oh, to he the dropped first it. baseman, and he drops it. Josh Bond is going to go to second. Oh, this is risky. Him, nope. And he well. gets him safe. He is safe, boys. Well, he that, was, that was lucky. Why in the world did they get They run him to second base. Oh, that was risky, know. for sure. Wow. This brings up Ben Inge now. Ben Inge is up, followed by Matt Hart and Brandon Parrish. And boy, oh, boy, I don't know about that decision. That was the second. They got lucky that time. That was a very lucky uh, their throw. I don't I mean, he had him beat. He just lucky that the, that the RD dropped the ball that time. Well, anyway, man on second base with no outs. Drew now winds up, throws the ball. Outside. This one's going to be outside for ball one. But, boy, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to be very, very reluctant to take a man down second base being that close. Yep. Although Josh Vaughn is fast, swing and a miss in there for strike one. One ball and one strike. Josh Vaughn, I got to hand it to him. By the way, he's number one in the league. And base hits this year. Yeah. That is a very close second. Here comes the next pitch. And that was a uh, bunt. And it missed. They're going, to third. they're going to go to third base. He slides in. And it gets through. Almost. But he's going to stay right there. A good backup by the, uh, actually by DJ Coleman. Ended up backing him up pretty good. Yeah. That saved the run. One ball and two, let's see, with one ball and two strikes now is a count, I believe. I believe so, too. So here comes now the wind up in the pitch by Drew Pumphrey. Oh, it hit ball. That's going to go right into center field. And it's going to, And one run's going to score and a nice base hit by Ben Inge. And you got to hand it that. And that brings up the Cobra, Matt Hart. Give me everything. Keep your head down. <laughs> well, if Matt keeps his head down. Yeah, that's a good. Keep his head down and yep. don't look up. He, got, I mean, he had a rough day against a pair today. Here comes now the pitch. That one's going to be inside, and that's going to be an air for ball one. And they are trying to make sure that they bring nothing but inside pitches and outside pitches. Inside, to inside. They're going to try to bring it inside and fast. Here comes down the pitch. That one's in the dirt again. It's an air for ball number two. Ben Inge will steal second, and with no outs, Rotary's got another runner on second base. Good job. Yep. No balls and two strikes to Matt Hart. Matt's got to stay patient, though. Here comes now the pitch from Drew Pumphrey. And that one's going to be high and inside once again. And, boy, that's three balls in a row. Yeah, they were well, all inside. It's too. obviously what they're trying to do. Yeah. I think they, they watched, that, they watched that, that Legion game the other day, and they think, well, maybe we can replicate that. You know, gunning up there inside and make uh, Rotary go for it. But. 3 and 0. Here comes the count. And that one's going to be inside. Matt Hart will be base on balls. But the thing is, Brandon Parrish can also hit the ball yep. well. The runners on first and second now for the Rotary. One to nothing, they lead. And that's two very fast runners on base, I might add. Here comes now the pitch. And Brandon took Pulled. black hook, line, and sinker. He should yep. have gone after that one. It was, uh, his head was all the way looking over towards the bathroom over there. So, was, again. And the bathroom's foul ball. You don't want to hit it towards the bathroom. No, Here comes the next pitch. That's way high. Yeah, I, I, I got to be see. I'd be... I'd be remiss to go out through anything not directly in your strike zone right now if for no other reason that Pumphrey seems to be having some control problems right now. 
Two ball, one ball, and uh, one ball and one strike now. The Brandon Pish. Hard hit ball, and this one's going to go through everybody. It could uh, go to the center field. Here comes uh, Ben Edge. Matthew will make it to third, and a nice single by Brandon Parrish, and it's going to be a, and Rotary takes a two to nothing lead. The thing's kind of worked out for Rotary, that run. There's still no outs. Payton lost at the bat now for the uh, Rotary. Here comes the next pitch. Strike there it goes. They're going to not, try, they're not going to even try to get uh, uh, Brandon Parrish stealing second. And I don't blame him for that. that yeah, was, I mean, you threw, the, the, you threw the hardest part of the Rotary lineup now. Now you can kind of rely on your pitcher. You hope to be able to get you through the rest. Here comes that pitch. Hard hit. And again. Once again by Payton Lawson. Field. This one's going to go all the way to the fence. Matt Hart will score. And so they're going to take Lawson and go bring him to the third base. He will stop. And a nice stand-up triple for Payton Lawson. Two Lawson more made, runs come in. And two more runs go in. And now Rotary is on fire on their hitting. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. They thought they would walk Matthew to keep Matthew from <laughs> hitting it out of there. the park. Justin Harvey at the bat now for the uh, Rotary. Four to nothing now is the score. Here comes down the pitch. Swing and a miss by he Justin Harvey. And there's two strike number one. And Justin did a good job the other day. Uh, he just needs to kind of go back to basics, kind of relax. Don't don't, don't let uh, Drew here cha force you into chasing a ball down that you don't want. The runner on second base, they have no outs. No balls in one strike now to Harvey. Swing and a miss, That's strike another high number one. two. That was, that was out of his strike zone again. I don't, I, he need to relax and not go after those. I got to hand it to uh, the first front 40. They've been very patient. And that one's going to be go. See, outside. now he held back wisely yep. that time. One ball and two strikes now to Justin. I still say that, like I said, Pumphrey's having a few problems finding his spot there. So, I mean, Harvey needs to wait for his exact, wait and for his. going to uh, be in there for ball number two, two balls and two strikes. Wait for the ball that he wants, not the ball that uh, that uh, Pumphrey wants, and hit it. And hit it. Here comes now to wind up the pitch. Outside again. And that's see? outside again. That brings a count to full. See what I mean? Since Justin stopped swinging, he just threw three balls right in a row there. So, full count now. Runners on third base for the Rotary. Swing and a miss, strike three. And Justin Harvey will go down swinging. And that one may have been high, a little high, too. Yep. And that's Brandon Parrish. No, it should be... I Brandon. Yep, Brandon. Brandon. Thomas, Thomas Parrish. Parrish. Thomas Parrish. Was, yeah, Brandon Parrish was, was a batting cleanup position. I have I have the Parrish swap. I just... So now, Rotary is kind of coming back to the back side of the lineup. Chamber only has one out. Here comes now the pitch. Oh, and boy, what a change up. It, yeah. And here comes the runner. Lawson's going to take it in easy. He will score, and that makes it 5 to zitch. 5 to 0 as Rotary scores another run. One ball, no balls and one strike now to Thomas Parrish for the Rotary. You can do it, buddy. Here comes now the pitch from Pumphrey. High, oh, and he swung at the we ball. Got one I think he got baited into that one as well. <laughs> and he wants it. He wants hit so bad he ignored yeah, common sense. Number two, but he wanted to get the yeah, he, he wanted to get the old kicking machine. That's right. <laughs> Here comes down the pitch. Oh, Bobby! Bobby, Bobby Bobby's way, ready for way that inside time. ball one. Bobby wasn't even look, looking at the batter, the pitcher that time. He, he was looking back at the at the umpire. Bobby McWilliams actually got hold of one the other night, and that was in there for strike one, one ball and one strike. Come on, buddy. Have fun up there. One and one is the count. Five to nothing. Here comes down a pitch. And he All chipped that one. And it's going to be foul ball, but that was close. That was close. One ball and two strikes now to count. It's in the area, though. I don't have a camera. So I was trying to swap between the two to find the right camera. And with that, that will mean... Two strikes and one ball. Yep. Same thing, Bob. Come on. Nice two first... Strikes. uh inning for the rotary here comes the next pitch this one's ball going to be low ball number two two and two goes to count you're seeing drew now also he's starting to pitch a lot of pitches for this first inning what is he up to now uh six uh 27. You can do it, Bobby. so here comes the wind up the pitch and that one's yeah, going to be inside. inside that brings the count to full and another full count by drew Carpenter. drew uh, last time he lost he uh struck out the runner on a full count situation so batter rather here comes the pitch way inside right, ball four base on balls and mick williams will 
put his foot on the bag at first base. Yeah. That brings up a Yende right. Meredith. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. And they're going to have a little talk with uh, with uh, Drew out there. Yende, Yende uh, has not had a great season, but not a bad season either. He's got a hold of a few. Remember, he knocked one in the air to the fence in the right field. Yeah, let's, I mean, in an earlier game this year. Yeah, Drew. I mean, uh, Drew just seems to be having a little trouble. Like I said, finding his target. He's throwing a lot of outside, inside. He's in the ones he actually is putting down. The rotary has been able to capitalize on. So, I guess maybe a little bit of advice, kind of tell him, you know, make sure the catcher and the uh, pitcher are communicating properly, that sort of thing. Get him on the same page. Yeah. Do not know the status of Drew Pumphrey as far as how many innings he can pitch. Yeah. I imagine they usually do three though. Three. They give each pitcher. They do three for Pumphrey and three for RD usually. Now follow their usual same pattern. Up to bat again, Dave Meredith. Last game of the year. And that strike. was nice in there. Nice pitch that one was in there for strike number one. So where he told the uh, pitcher must have worked there. He seems to uh, got got locked in there that time. Yeah, well, sometimes you just got to calm him down a little bit and get focused on the target. And there was a strike. That was another strike. Swing right and there. a miss in there for strike number two. Ball is back just a little bit. Okay, stay in there. Good swing though. Come on. So that brings up no balls and two strikes to Yinde Meredith. Here comes the next one. And that may have been strike number three. Yep. And so, well, one run left on base, but not until Rotary scores five. So as we go to the top of the uh, second, it is five to nothing. We'll be right back right after this. What does your world sound like? That's geography the music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone. So I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper. So I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. to zero right now. Rotary leads and Chamber is now coming up and kind of their some of their middle of their lineup. Matt Hart will remain in as pitching. Uh, that I believe is going to be Jamie Height starting out. Yep. Here comes now the pitch. Nice. Oh, Jamie pitch. got a piece of it there. Yep. Well, I got to give a little nick on that one in there for ball. I mean, strike number one. one no balls in one strike. You got to give Chamber one thing tonight. They have been uh, able to foul off Matthew a lot more than they usually are. Usually they have a lot of trouble getting a hold of the, what Matthew's throwing. But I think all the batters have gotten a small piece of it. Hart takes aim, winds up, pitch, swing and a miss, strike number two. want to say hello to Tim out there who is listening to www.wpexonline. Uh, he's on Southside, he's on Southside Sports Network.com. That's true. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and that one's going to be foul back, and they're going to call that one a foul. Foul back. Foul back, because it was. It was a foul back. <laughs> no balls in one strike. Two strikes, rather. Two strikes. Yep. Uh, Matthew's going to probably do a changeup. That's been a great time for a changeup. Here comes the pitch. No, sir, oh. a fastball, and that's going to take care of Jamie Hyde. Right. Yeah, he didn't, he, he, his bat was swinging after it passed him. That brings up uh, Stevie Yancey, I believe. Third baseman for the uh, chamber coming at the bat. And that's Wilkinson will be on deck for the chamber. Here comes a pitch. Matthew winds up. Throws that one in there. Strike number two. 
Try number one. Strike one. Strike one. One. One strike. <laughs> no balls and one strike. Matthew Wow winds up. Here comes now the pitch. Oh, the high. Went that, was, that was high. Way that was high. a kind of a leisureless. You're not going to hit Matthew's pitches with that. Type Ooh, of swing. You gotta, you got, if you're going to swing, you got to swing with authority. You can't just kind of half heartedly do it. No balls and two strikes. Let's see what Matt pitches here. Uh, nice oh, inside. Pass ball way inside. I think he lost control of that one. Yep. Like I said, I do think Matthew's hurting a little bit from that, from his chest. That's why, like I, said, I just don't see the zip he usually has, but he's still striking people out, so that's what really matters, right? One ball, two strikes. Here comes now the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike number three, and that's going to strike Steve Yancey. Out. That brings up uh, Graham Wilkerson, I believe. Up to bat, Graham Wilkerson. Well, Matthew continues to strike him out. Everybody look at him. He's got one more inning pitching in the league. Swing oh, and miss. change. In for strike one. Nice change. That ball, I think, stopped in midair almost. Right in front of the plate, just kind of dropped like a rock. Yeah, but that was right. But it was still in the target zone. Yeah. Here comes down the next pitch. Try to do it again. A little bit low. Usually you don't, to count one I ball usually one you, don't, you don't do two change-ups in a row. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Matthew probably smoked this one down here. Here comes down the pitch. Not really, didn't really throw that one too hard, but right down the middle for yep. striking number two. Just kind of a regular it's pitch. Yeah, just kind of drop it in there. Nothing, right? nothing big deal. One ball, two strikes. That one down there deal. is strike number three, and Matthew's going to say bye-bye to him as three well. Three up, three down. So, three up and three down. No runs left on base, no errors. So, as we go now to the bottom of the second, it is uh, five to zero in favor of the Rotary. We shall be back right after these messages. Doctors, they are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. And we're back here at Miller Field right now. And Man, do we need new commercials? Well, we're going to have some. I got some all lined up. I mean, we should find some like, instrumental music or something just to play during it. Just something. Uh, I mean, it's not like the sponsors are paying, right? You know? Ah, oh boy. Well, <laughs> actually, Radio Shack is, so. Uh, say hello to Courtney at Radio Shack. And by the way, I got, got the text from Tim. He says, uh, Oh, he said, hello, John, from, our, uh, of course, our, uh, him and his soldiers. All right, here comes down the pitch from Drew Pumphrey. That's right down the middle. And right down the middle. Yeah, Josh bit. Tillett, the oh, bat now. He, he can't sit there and watch that one go by. That wasn't yep. even very fast, to be honest with you. All right, here comes the next pitch. Shows butt. Oh. way inside. He Hold almost up. hit Josh Tiller. Okay, Not being there for ball one, one ball, and one strike. Yeah, like I said, I just haven't seen... I mean, usually Pumphrey's a lot more accurate than this. He just seems to be having some control problems tonight. Wind up. Here comes down the pitch. No, no, that one, though. That one's going to be... Seems like after I say that, every time he throws a strike. That looked like it was inside, but I couldn't tell it from here. What did it look like to you? Eh, it looked like Let's a strike. Come on. All takes is one. So, we got one ball and two strike. Here comes the next pitch. Oh. And that was... Did it hit him? Boy, no, that he was came close. Get in there and hit the ball. Get two and two now is the count. So Drew Pumphrey now winding up. Here comes down the next pitch. Huh. Now strike number three. Yeah, he's one. And now, pop it. Uh, here comes no, a, for for uh, Rotary. 
Now okay. Ben, uh, Josh, Josh Bond will be up, and the and the rotary fearsome force. Yeah, Josh hit a double last time he was up the bat in the last inning. Here comes the pitch, foul back, and then there, strike number one. I tell you, that's been a feared thing. To, like I said, the rotary fearsome foursome. Here comes now the next pitch to Josh Bond. And oh, he change up. changed up. Josh, Josh, Josh Bond bit Josh him. went over that all the yeah. whole way, too. Hook, line, and sinker. Two balls. Two his, balls. And, he had uh, swung his bat when the, no, the... No balls and two strikes. He swung his bat around by the time the oh, yeah, uh, ball was only halfway there. Here comes the pitch. That one's oh, going to be high, and that's going to be in there for ball one. Yeah, well, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen when Matt gets up it when he does. Here comes now the pitch. Hard hit ball. Going this is going to go in the center field. Oh, oh, and he center. drops the ball. Here comes they're going to try to take it to second He'll base. He'll make a second. Nobody at second base to cover it. And, and Josh will stay right yep. there at second. And that huh? brings up Ben Inge. And ben Inge had a good hit the last time. Yeah, Ben Inge had a single and an RBI today, tonight rather. Cobra will be on deck for the Rotary. Runner on second base with only one out. Here comes the windup. Here comes the pitch. That one's going to be high. Ball one. I think a spider just called from a camera. I see a spider web. Uh-oh. A little bit of confusion on the field there. Josh goes to third. Oh, now he's going to home. They're going to try to bring in. They're going to try to play at home plate. He's going to be safe. Safe. Well, that makes it six to zero. Does not turn out good for yep. the uh, chamber today. That's for sure. They're just again. And Ro- and, and Pumphrey just seems to be having a hard time, yep. and these mistakes are starting to kill him now. And the thing is, the rotary is just hitting on all eight cylinders right now. Yep. Ben and just the batter. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna call a timeout. And there goes Ryan Dalton, or actually Bob Dalton, the coach of the of the chamber team. He's gonna go out there and talk. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to tell him. I don't think that I would change him out quite yet. It's kind of early. It's only second inning, and you only got really two pitchers in this team. So, I mean, you have to bring the only other person you could bring in at this point would be RD. I mean, it, if you bring in Nick, Rotary's just going to have have their way with him. I don't think you're allowed to bring in Coleman. No, I don't think they bring in Coleman. They, but even if they did, I, I wouldn't bring Coleman. Not bring in Coleman either. <laughs> Poor Coleman has been having a lot of luck in pitching day, and you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, Dalton told uh, Pinnell, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, Pumphrey. Pumphrey, he didn't look happy. His bomb looks, looks poked out there. I don't think he's it. Here comes out of the pitch. That's going to be inside for ball two. Good. Probably told him something to the effect of if you walk or a guy, he's going to have to take you out or something like that. Two balls and no strikes. Drew now winds up. Here comes down the pitch. Hard hit ball, oh, and it goes to the shortstop. Short They're going to try to it Got play. He gets him at first, and that was a nice, actually that nice, was play. nice play. Yeah. Yep, and that brings up the Cobra Hart. Now, let's see. Here goes where they're going to probably pitch and jump again. Well, again, if you walk him, what's, what's, what's the worst thing? I mean, if you do walk him, it's no big deal at this point. There's no one base. You know, you need to walk him on. You look so. and see how far he's off. I'm going to look at the... Drew Pumphrey now winds up to Cobra Hart. Here comes the pitch. That, that was, was way well. in the dirt. Boy, I'm telling you, it's obvious what they're trying to do to Matt Hart. Oh, they're just going to throw junk at him hope he goes for it. And you know, I, I'm going to say this. I would do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I'd say I'd probably do the same thing. Matthew don't like it, but. I mean, no, Matthew don't. I, hope I know technically in Dixie Youth, you're not allowed to walk a person on purpose, but, you know. Here comes the pitch. There's another one outside. And that one's going to be inside for ball two. And Matthews hadn't had a strike come at him yet in this game. Yeah. Now, uh, this one will probably, you might sneak might one sneak in. Matthew yeah. needs to let one go here. Here comes out the pitch. And that one's going to be ball uh-huh. number three. Three balls and no strike. DJ. Oh, and they DJ. call it a strike. DJ, catch and hold. Oh, they did? Catch and hold. Yep. Okay, that's, that'll that'll be a little back. inside, but okay. All right, here comes now the pitch. And it is hard hit ball. That's going to go way to the field. It's going to go all the way back to the fence. Matthew Hart will round second, first base. He goes to second, and Matthew will have a stand-up double. Run it in, run it in. And Drew Pumphrey tried to ease one back at about chest level, and Matthew just <laughs> nailed the thing like a bullet. Maybe he should have continued throwing the dirt. They would have had more luck, I think. And the only thing that went Rotary's way, if there is a fence here at Miller Field, that ball would have kept right on going yeah. if the fence didn't stop. A Chambers way, you mean. Chambers, yeah. So, Matt Hart's on second base. Tom perished the bat. Tom hit a good single last time. He got and he hits one hard this way, and this one's going to be foul. Towards a camera, which no camera person. <laughs> 
the I did put up the guard to protect the cameras, though. That's what Hillock's there for. <laughs> and that's going to bring up strike number one to Thomas Parrish. I mean, uh, yeah, Tom, Brandon, Brandon Parrish. Parrish, you're right. Sorry. Here comes now the pitch. And a oh, change up. Got, got Brandon it. swinging. Matt will take a big lead and now come back to first base. I mean, uh, second base. Brandon, got to wait a little bit longer for that, okay? We're here only in the second inning. See in the wind up. Wind up just wait for it, okay? Here comes now the pitch. That one's going to be inside. Here Matthew Matthew's going to, going to steal third, and he does. Easily stands up. And Matthew, throughout the last year or so, has really picked up a lot of speed on the bases. Mm -hmm. All right, Brandon, let's go. You can do it, buddy. All it takes one. Two outs. Here comes the pitch. Inside. Yeah, that's, right. that's going in there for ball number two. Two balls and two strikes. So here comes Drew Pumphrey. Looks, winds up. Here's a change up. That's going to be close. Ooh, that looked pretty good. That, no, pretty that ball was too high. Oh, it was too high. I that was too high. It looked like it was close to. I mean, I'm looking at right two D screen. Yeah, that ball was too high. That brings up full count. Brandon should be able to hit this one. Yeah, if he has, if, if uh, Drewson's down there, Brandon should be able to do something with it. Here comes out a pitch. Way oh, high. He's high going at a high one. That's a strike three. So they leave Matt on board, but they did score one. It's six to nothing. We'll be right back right after this. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Stop by Victoria's Beauty Salon in Blackstone today. Not only can you get a style that's just for you and a tan too, but now Victoria's Beauty Salon presents Anna Veal's Body Work Practitioner. Tired from the stress of the week? Try some massage therapy. Anna provides many different massages to cater to your areas of stress. A Swedish massage, a deep tissue massage, and reflexology. She also gives facials and offers two special packages. So come by Victoria's today at 110 North Main Street in Blackstone or call and inquire about an appointment with Anna. Relax, meditate, and leave looking and feeling like a brand new you at Victoria's Beauty Salon where your hair is your glory. Call 434-292-5910. Back here at Miller Field, I'm John Hart along with Robbie Hart and welcome to exciting Dixie Youth Major League Baseball. Anyway, earlier day 13 to 7, uh, F Supply defeated the, uh, Last game of the season in the minor league, uh, defeated uh, Pernell Logan. Matthew Hart will remain in as pitching, and this will be his last three outs here. Nick Pernell coming up first uh, for the uh, chamber this inning. Last three outs in the major league for Matthew Hart. Here comes now the pitch. He winds up. That one's going to be a little bit outside, ball one. Yep. All right, Nick, Nick. I think Matt, we're hoping Matthew ends it good here, but after this, it's when things get interesting. Because Matt, this is Matthew's last inning. He's out of innings at, after this point. Yep, that's what I mean. This will be his, this will be it. Here comes down the next pitch. Swing Ooh. and a miss. That <laughs> ball, that ball shot down there too. Now being there for strike number one. But this is Matthew's last three outs. Yep. After that, that's it for Matthew and Dixie Youth Baseball. Well, for the, well, for the, for the regular season. Here comes down the pitch. Oh, and the, Matthew threw that one in the ground, and I'll be <laughs> daggone if he went after it. And that's a swing and a miss right too. I think, oh. I think, I think Nick Pinnell is just a little spooked, and he's swinging at everything now. I don't know. I'd be spooked if I had to go up against Matt, too, you know. I have one ball and two strikes down to Nick Purnell. This one went right down the middle. Got a piece of it, though. And he got a piece of it. A little foul back. It's in there. First, right number two. Nick Purnell trying to find out where we're at in the batting. Uh, number nine. Yep. One ball and two strikes. Let's go. 
Let's go, Ned. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 let us go
Well, I'm Sally Celeste from the best called Debbie's Doodles today for your beautiful professional business cards, church and business stationery, church bulletin signs, and much, much more. And if you need a design and not quite sure what you want, have a sit down concert. All right, we're going to kind of interrupt the I'm old. I'm telling you, new, shorter commercial, that's what you need. Well, at any rate, <laughs> here comes True Puffy now with a pitch. And I was right there with strike. Is this Peyton Lawson? Oh. I have uh, Peyton Lawson at the bat, yeah. Peyton had a triple back in the first with a uh, two RBI, so he's been pretty successful against... Uh, and that was going to be inside for ball one. Against uh, Pumphrey. One ball and one strike. Pumphrey's getting up on his uh, pitch count now, 56 pitches so far in this game. Drew Pumphrey will be... Probably selected for one of the All-Stars, of course. Here comes now the pitch. Hard hit ball to right field. And this will go foul out of play. And that'll be in there for strike number two. One yeah, ball, two strikes. I think getting one of Matthew's fastballs to uh, the trailer back there probably qualified him for All-Star almost instantly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, not only that, but he's had a fairly decent year pitching. Yeah. Um, having a, he's having a little bit of trouble today, but still pitching fairly decent. Yep. Drew now looks, winds up, here comes down a pitch. Swing Knock and a miss. That one. And now he's striking number three, so he strikes out Peyton Lawson. And that brings up Justin Harvey. Justin Harvey struck out last time in the first inning. Off of a full count situation, as I recall. So he's 0 for 1 for the day. Here comes now the wind up the pitch. That one's going to be low, ball one. Justin Harvey, a smaller kid. Hard target to hit when you're <laughs> 55 feet away from the... Uh, the plate there. Anyway, here comes down the next pitch. Way high. Boy, that bring up ball number two. I don't think that would have been a uh, strike for anybody, not much less Justin there. And boy, Pumphrey don't want to lose these batters, especially in the middle or to the end of the, of the rotary lineup. Here comes the next pitch. Oh, strike down the middle. Swing and a miss in there for strike number one. Actually, strike number two, isn't it? That's strike one. All right. Two balls and one strike. That one's low. That would bring in ball three. three balls and one strike. Three and one now is the count to Justin Harvey. Here comes down to wind up the pitch. And that one's going to be foul. Right? That brings up full count to Justin Harvey. Justin Harvey had a good hit against the uh, VFW the other day. From the uh, three runs off of a nice triple, too. Yep, here comes down to pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike number three. Not on that pitch. <laughs> not on that one. Now we're bringing up out number two. And you see uh, Drew now suddenly starting to kind of find his target. I said it's a shame. They're probably going to pull him out here in this last inning for uh, Chamber. Up to bat Tom Parrish. Tom, Tom Parrish. Parrish. Tom Parrish over one for a day as well. You're coming out of pitch. That one's going to be way inside. Ball uh, one. Well, that's close, though. I thought it fell in. Now, I think you can hear Chamber coaches getting a yeah, little bit frustrated with Joe Jackson. Yeah. Here come now the wind up the pitch. Oh, that one's going to be way inside ball number two. Two balls and no strike. So Drew needs to hit the next couple of them. Here comes down the pitch. That was right down the middle for strike one. So Drew is throwing still fairly consistent. Yeah. Here comes the next pitch. And this one's going to be foul back. And that's Strike number two, two and two is the count. So, you know, you've been seeing pitchers like Drew Pumphrey and, of course, Matt, and, of course, some of the other ones, they've been pretty much consistent with their pitching. Oh, Way high. high, and that brings up full count. And Drew's starting to rack up a lot of pitches. Drew is uh, one for two of full counts tonight, about 50% so far. Here comes out a pitch. Hard hit ball, and this one's going to go and to... Uh, the second baseman throws him out at first, and that will take Al. So, one man left on. They didn't score any, but as we go now to the top of the fourth, it is six to nothing in favor of the Rotary. We shall be right back, right after these messages. 
When they learn to play the music Act or paint or dance or write creatively Hot from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts-healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. Brought to you by Americans for the Arts, the NAM Foundation, and the Ad Council. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Because, uh, all right, we're trying to figure something out. Food. They bring in Matt Hart in as pitching because, once again. Uh, it, yeah, maybe it does. Okay, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's four innings. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Matt. Uh, the complexities of rain delays, huh? So, Matthew does have one more top inning left, huh? So, Matthew's not quite through quite yet. Which is kind of good for uh, Rotary there because this is the meat of the uh, Chamber batting order coming up with Drew Pumphrey, who hit a double against him, followed by R.D., who has been struggling some, and uh, Josh Gabronson. But at the top of their lineup, so we're going to see what they can do. Hi, Drew Drew. Drew Drew. So Drew Pumphrey is up. Dalton will be on deck. So, uh, Drew is one for one for the day. Had a nice double out to us. Uh, pretty much right the middle earlier. So, trouble is, where you come back on? The trouble is, they got a, Josh Vaughn is not catching. He's playing second base. Yeah, that means they're prepping to bring him in for pitching, most likely. Yep. And of course, they can bring him in at any time. So here comes now the pitch. Matthew Hart winds up, throws this one, and that was a nice pitch. This one will go foul. Boom! I thought it didn't. And that's kind of been the story all day for uh, Rotary. There, I mean. Matthew's been having a hard time kind of gunning it past him like he usually does. I mean, he's throwing strikes, don't get me wrong, but they have been able to capitalize on at least the top part of the batting order for a well, Chamber. you got to understand, though, uh, Chamber is a good hitting team. Yeah. Go, and these, especially these guys that are up. Let's go, Drew. Let's go. So here comes Matthew now. No balls and one strike to Drew Pumphrey. Here comes now the pitch. This one's going to be low. Hey. hey. One. One and one now is the, is the count. So one and one. Here comes now the pitch. Matt winds up, throws it. High ball two, two balls and one strike. Matthew up to 56 pitches so far. 40 strikes, 16 balls. <coughs> Seven strikeouts so far for the night. Couldn't walk in one hit. Matt looks, winds up. Here comes the pitch. Yeah, and that was outside. outside again. Ball three. That's ball three in a row he's thrown there. Trouble is, Drew's not very fast. Yeah. Putting him on base is not that unreasonable. Yeah. If he, if he should walk him, it's not the end of the world. Here comes now, wind up in the pitch. Yep. And it's going to be four. in that ball four. And that was close, but it did look a little bit low. Yeah, that brings up uh, R.D. to bat. R.D. 0 for 1 for a day. R.D. has been struggling a little bit so far in the second half of the season. He did good in the first half, but he's been struggling since about the mid-season mark. So we'll see if he can turn his luck in the last game. Matthew winds up. That Outside. one's going to be high. So Matthew's Drew. having a little trouble. Drew goes down to second base. And they're going to try to get him. Not quite. Ben Inge is catching and couldn't quite get it as fast. And that'll be in there safe. So one ball and no strikes now to Ryan Dalton. Oh, no, it's a foul, so let's bring him back. Oh, no, why are they bringing him back? What happened? Huh? 
Did it get him out? No, the ball was nowhere close. Hold on just a minute, folks. Let's see what's going on. What the world? And everybody, everything is stopping. Chris Pumphrey is folding his hands way up. I don't know what's going on. Do you know what's going on? <laughs> well, it looked like he was safe all the way. Yeah, he was. the ball wasn't Unless he overran it. And here comes Chris Pumphrey, and he's going to... And I can understand why he wants to protest this one. Well, I don't know what's going on. I don't think... Then the, I mean, he, from what I can tell, he was safe all the way. Did he slide in head first? Huh? No. No, he slid in what, what Pat, he didn't slide in at all. You know, I'm going to talk with the, young, with the umpire there. I mean, I don't well, let's see what frankly, happens. I hate to say, I don't understand why, uh, why, why Drew would be out. Frankly, apparently he is. Go figure. I have no idea what happened there. Well, that was interesting. I don't know about that one. Yeah, that I gotta say, I got. And I coached your writer, so it's you know. He goes for an out I, though. I don't know. That was weird. That right. was weird. Well, Drew Pumphrey is out at first. Out at second, weather. All right, out at second. Here comes Matt. That one's uh, going to be high for ball number two. See, Matt is still struggling to find that really gun it down their strike zone. Well, I think Matt is probably finally getting tired yeah. after all these games. <laughs> We're still sore from my workout on Monday. <laughs> all right. It's two balls and no strikes. Here comes down to pitch. And this one's going to be a hard, hard hit. hit. And this one hits down to uh, Justin Harvey. Justin Harvey will pick it up in right field, throws it, and limits R.D. to only a single. That was a good hit. That would have gone past Justin. That would have probably been a double or a triple. He did a good job stopping it. That brings and up Rotary, Josh Gil Bronson. Yeah, Rotary once again comes up and snags a good play into the yeah. defense to limit the other team from scoring a whole bunch of runs on them. That brings up Josh Gil Bronson. Josh walked last time. All right, here comes down the pitch for Matthew Hart. And Matthew is having a little bit of trouble. Yeah, he's having a hard time finding strikes on right now. He, he hate to pull him out, too, because there's only two more outs he, he, he'll, he'll save. But yep. he's got to be able to start throwing strikes here in order to keep, justify keeping him in. All right, here comes down the wind up. Here comes the pitch. A little bit low again. That was a little bit low. Is that the way you're seeing it over there on yeah, your monitor? Bit, oh. And did they get him? And it is safe. Oh, that was close. Yeah, that was close. I thought they may have had him. We'll try to get him at first base, R.D. Yep. Well, that will keep him honest anyway. Two balls <laughs> and no strikes. Here comes down the pitch. And that was going to be a hard hit ball. And they're going to throw it to second base. They're not going to get him. And he will be a fielder's choice. Will be. They're throwing Higgins mad yep. here. So it's not good news for, uh, for Rotary. Now, D.J. Coleman is up. And be interesting if D.J. would have, if, if he would have hit a game-saving home run, that would be interesting how that would work out. Yeah. Especially when he's not even on the team's roster. <laughs> All right. Matthew looks, winds up here, comes down a pitch. And that was way outside yeah, once he's again. A hard time hitting that strike zone right now. Yep. And the problem is they're getting past. Yeah, they're just edge. Yeah. And you know that's the thing when you change pitcher. I mean catchers sometimes. So they may have to go ahead and pull Matthew out. Yeah, it's going to hit didn't look that way. You need to zero in back in. Start throwing strikes. Really. Yep. Needs to throw a strike at this point. And Matthew's having down. a whole lot of trouble now. Catcher missed. Catcher got past that was in the dirt. Here. Yeah. And I tell you what, you know what? I think that I'd bring in Peyton Lawson. Mm, yeah, I'd say. I know, I really would. I think having a hard time just finding the strike zone. You just can't keep letting them load the base up and walk in a bunch of runs. Right. I mean, Matthews just probably pooped out by now. Here comes next pitch. And that one's going to be into the oh, base. Oh, it's a base hit. And it gets into the, in the field. One run will score. They're going to try to get him at home plate. They right. don't get him. And everybody will advance. The two runs will score for the chamber. And Randy, you really need to call time I have to talk with Matthew. Yep. Find out, do we need to pull him out? I mean, do you need to pull him out? I hate to say that. I mean, he just seems to be struggling right now. I don't think he's throwing a ball in a, quite a, strike, a good strike in quite a while. Matthew needs to try to get out of this bad inning. Here comes down the pitch. Right, oh, and Matthew's a having a terrible time. He yeah. need, they need to go ahead and pull him. He has just... Probably out of gas. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I don't think he's had a good strike, like I said, a good, clean, fast strike in a long time now. Not my hat, uh, wait. Yeah. Uh, 
It's hot up in the dugout. So we got one ball and no strikes now. Who's up here? Uh, that brings up uh, Jimmy Height. Here comes out a pitch. Swing and a miss. It's in strike one. That was a good one. And you know, you want to have him finished out, but like I said, he's got to throw a strike, especially against the bottom of the uh, chamber batting order here. He need, these are people he cannot afford to let go by. Well, it seems like, man, a walk is almost scoring this league. Here comes the next pitch. That one's way out. outside again. And, and see, the trouble is, with Josh... Josh catching. Josh may have been able to catch those balls that are so far outside, and it's not happening, and, it, and it's, it's, key, it's creating people to move around on the bases. Here comes now the next pitch, and this one's going to be foul. foul, and that's in there for strike number two. Two and two comes the count. They hit in front of the uh, area here, though. Into the dugout, looks like. Yep. So that brings the count two and two, but I got to tell you, what they have to do now, if, if Matthew has, if Matthew should walk this runner, he got him. He they got need to go ahead and, and, and it's just his time. He's, he's thrown a lot of pitches in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Matt Hart looks, now winds up here, comes down to pitch, and this one's going to be low, yeah. ball three. See, they're just waiting on now. They're not even yeah, they're, and now they're just waiting. Yeah. So, it's a Logan Powell at my back door. Three balls and two strikes. Here comes down the pitch. And this one's going to go right into. Uh, uh, they bobbled it. They're going to try to throw him at second. And oh, he missed the throw. Yeah. Oh, boy. And now Chamber is hitting the ball. On the back end of the batting yep. line. Yeah, have a good eye, man. Have a good eye. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. And now I don't know. I think I would still, I think I'd have to call and go ahead and bring Peyton Lawson. Yeah, yeah. He's called time and talk to him or something, you know, find what the deal is. And this is not normal behavior. Matthews just had a hard time threading the needle as all it yeah. is to it. Yeah. He answered the and then they're hitting the ball, so they're yep. waiting on him. Yep. Okay, here comes down the pitch. That was outside again. It's in there for ball one. Matthews started out good in the inning and all suddenly just, just kind of ran out, yeah. Yeah, how many? Actually, well, he walked first guy in the inning, so really had to start out that great in the inning. Yeah, he sure hasn't, hasn't. Here comes the next pitch. And that's in there for strike one. One ball and one strike. Matthew's got to keep his cool here. He's got, go back he's, got the throw, he's got the throw strikes. Have a talk with, uh, call a timeout and have a talk with. Uh, so one ball and one strike with one out. Chambers scored two. They got two runners on, runners on, on first and, and third. And see, that cuts the lead to only four. Yep. And the trouble is, all right, here comes down the pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's in there for strike one. number two, but that was high. That was up in the eyes there. We said it before, though, those ones up in the eyes are hard to resist, especially for, you know, some of your average batters. So one ball and two strikes. Here comes down the pitch from Hart. And that's strike number three, and that was a very Long, important strikeout. Yeah, it was. But Matthew gets another strikeout, and, and, man, he said it couldn't come any at a better time. That brings up Graham Wilkerson at the bat now for the uh, chamber. All right, Matt winds up, throws. Oh, that was And does he, he make it? No, he doesn't. Oh, he does. They're going to try it again in second. And what did got they him. do that when they got him at third, yep. at second base? And that's the third and final out run when I Ooh. score. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That was lucky. That was a lucky <laughs> pitch. So, that's going now. That will probably do it for Matt Hart. Yeah, that's definitely it. Matt Hart had a great season. And uh, anyway, it's... Uh, that will be player probably coming either catching or playing shortstop. We'll see. It's six to two. Chamber did score two. We'll be right back right after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long not just January to May, whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. The best stuff ever. 
Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Two steps. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Back here at Miller Field as we go now to the bottom of the fourth. It is uh, six to two, and uh, Rotary they cut Rotary's lead back to only four runs, and uh, got a new pitcher in Ryan Dalton, and that's kind of what we figured that uh, Chamber was going to do. Yeah, usually split between RD and uh, Ryan Dalton rather and uh, Pumphrey. Pumphrey usually either they either do one or the other will either pitch first into three and mark they swap. And what Bobby McWilliams, he'll be up first, and what he's got to do is be very, very patient and yep. not just swing at anything that Ryan throws down there. Yeah, RD's going to be coming as a new pitcher. It's going to take him a while to get up to speed, probably. Like and that, that one. one's going to be a little bit high and outside, ball one. RD doesn't quite throw as hard as Drew Pumphrey. Yeah, not quite. But he is left-handed. Here comes the pitch. And that one's going to be foul back. A foul down. Straight down. down. Oh, okay. One and one comes the count. Ryan Dalton, he's also going to be selected as all-star pretty much, I believe. That, was way that one's going to be way outside for ball two. Two balls and one strike. They're pointing to the uh, guys in the outfield. So here comes now the wind up in the pitch. And oh, that was high. He just he got a piece of it, though, but yeah, still he but should have never way, swung, have swung it. That one. Yeah, he just he kind of gave R.D. that one. So, two balls and two strikes now to Bobby McWilliams. R.D. winds up. Here comes the ball. And that was way in the dirt, and it brings the count to full. Three balls and two strikes. R.D.'s full, first full count situation. Well, you're going to strike out the batters. This is the one. Here, is, here comes the pitch. And that low. one's going to be ball four. And you don't want to put these guys on and bring up the top, you know, four, the Rotary's yeah. fearsome foursome. Yeah, top four. Anyways, that brings up a Yende Meredith. Yende is 0 for 1 for the day. Struck out back in the first inning. So, lead runner gets on base. He's already saying something in his eye. Set him up in the middle, Drew. So here comes down the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that was a good pitch. He right down one. the middle, strike one. He threw that one with authority there. He... Maybe he finally got the cobwebs knocked out. No balls and one strike. Here comes now the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. The yeah. Indian went for it, so. Yeah, try to pick off play at first base. No go. Yeah, Bobby, was, he, Bobby was like one inch from the. From the yeah, uh, Bobby was only one <laughs> inch. That, he just put his foot over and stepped back on it, so that was a nothing play. Here comes now the pitch. That one's going to be high. One ball and two strikes comes to count. No, I got emphasize how important I got to emphasize how important it is to make RD now throw a lot of pitches because he after that there's no more pitch, pitchers. Here comes down the pitch, swing and a miss, strike number three. That would have been a little bit hot. Yeah, if you can wear out if you can wear out RD, then uh, Rotary got I mean uh, Chamber got no one to go to after that. That's the first out. That brings up Mr. Josh Tiller. Josh over one, struck out in the second inning. Here comes down the pitch. Outside. And it was going to be a little bit outside there for ball one. One ball and no strikes. And we've seen uh, Joe, the umpire there, calling a tight strike zone. Started kind of doing that a few weeks ago. Here comes now the pitch. Swing uh, and he, half oh, he halfway swing, check swing, but he broke the plane for sure. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. It's definitely a strike. One and one. One ball, one strike now. Josh, here comes that pitch. And this one's going to be inside, two. ball two. No, he's a two. Oh, the ball two, okay. Two balls and one strike. Where'd that miss? Huh? That was up here. Thank ball. you. Hello, John. <laughs> yep. I'm not going to hurt it, Holland. They would call it no more tonight. Yep. What did he say? That was funny. Joe's getting a little upset. Here comes down a pitch. And that one's going to be strike. And that brings the count to balls and two strikes. To Josh Tiller. If they can get Josh out here, it kind of neuters the uh, top three of the rotary lineup come on two-out situation and a swing and a miss it's in there for strike number three and that does that 
That brings up uh, Josh Bond. Josh been having a very good night. He's uh, two for two. Made two good doubles. And here comes down the pitch. Swing uh, and miss. outside, and Josh went for it all the way. And I'll be in here for strike number one. So no balls and one strike to Josh Vaughn. Here comes down to wind up the pitch. Swing uh, and a miss. And out the high one. High. They're just giving it to R.D. Yeah. Boy, are they ever giving it to R.D. You're, and most of all, you make him not throw very many pitches. Again, you got to wear him out. Yep. So here comes the pitch. That one's going to be low ball one. Jo uh, Bobby McWilliams is kind of distracting R.D. a little bit. Here comes down the next pitch. This one's going to be high ball two. Two balls and two strikes. You got two outs. Chamber leads six to two, though. Chamber has one run on base, but they got two outs. Here comes the pitch. Hard hit ball. Let's see if that's going to drop in. Nope, and it is going to go foul. That's going to be in there. Strike two, of course. And the count remains the same two and two. Josh going to go all the way back there and retrieve his bat. That could have been trouble because it was in the hole. Yeah. And we have the outfielder, which is down right now. Oh, no, he must have tripped up back there. Yep, he slid and tripped down. Looks like he may have sprung his ankle or oh. something. And we'll see what happens. And Chamber really doesn't have the uh, players to spare here. So that's the last thing you want to see oh, no. happen. Well, he's getting up and walking around. That's a good sign. Yeah, he's not he's okay. limping too bad. So. It looks like he's holding his arm there. His oh, left yeah. arm. R.D., the left-hand batter, or left-hand pitcher, rather. He bats right-handed, by the way. Yep. Everybody's just kind of walking around and just kind of loosening up a little bit. Two and two now is the count. <laughs> and they have two outs. Here it comes down the pitch. Hard, Hard hit. hit ball. Oh, good, good catch. catch. And then they're going the to be the third and final out. And that was just a nice catch. Yeah. We'll hand it to the second baseman. Good job. Anyway, that's going to end the inning as we go now to the top of the fifth. It is still 6-2. to two. We'll be right back right after these messages. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. Man, I'm all falling all over the white elephant in here. Huh? Okay, they ain't moving. You just have you been drinking? I mean, last I don't game know, long, but kind of looks like I have ended. Huh? Yeah, I know that last game was kind of long, but man. <laughs> well, it's six to two in favor of the Rotary. Thanks for people for tuning in at www.wpxonline.com and clicking on the Southside Sports Network. And at, uh, anyway, Josh Bond will be pitching. And Matthew's out of innings, so we... Yep, Matthew in. will be coming in. But I think that was pretty much the end of Matthew anyway. He was yeah. really getting tired out. I, would have to, I mean, I was wondering if they were going to have to pull him before. They just kind of lucked out the way it ended. So, anyway, next time you see Matthew pitch for the Dixie Youth, it will be in the All-Stars. 
which is coming up. Yep. And that will be at Lunenburg, and that will be, of course, uh, on the 8th, I believe. Yep. I believe it's the 8th. And, of course, us on the Southside Sports Network will be over there calling the game live. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Lord's willing, the creek don't rise. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll get Might even be able to broadcast the uh, video live, too. You never can tell. Well, folks, Josh Bond will come in and pitch, and we're going to see how he can. He's he, got to hold it together here. He's just got to stay consistent, throw good strikes there, you know. Oh, yeah. Here comes down the pitch, and he looked like Oh, he hit Frank in the neck. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Frank has been taking a beating back there. It, the ball, it fouled off the bat and whacked Frank right in the neck. I, was like, I saw that. I was like, oh. Uh, Frank kind of walks off, and he's not. That does not make Frank Actually, I thought it was a neck. Maybe it wasn't a neck. I made it someplace else. Well, Frank said he's feared Matthew all year long. I <laughs> feared Josh now, apparently. In fact, you know, and, hey, when, when the. Uh, As you know, got him in like his left arm. He got hey, right, right on the shoulder. When it came, and that's why you're supposed to wear padding. When it came up and uh, <laughs> when Matthew and Thomas Parrish was going to square off in that game, you know, he did not want to do it. He goes, oh, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> he didn't, yeah. He knows how fast both of them pitchers can. And he said, balls are flying all over the place back there. <laughs> he said, oh, boy. Yep. No balls in one strike, though. Matt, uh, <laughs> he, still still got good. he still hasn't gotten behind there. There he goes. They're setting back up again. That movie ain't that bright. Oh, here comes the next pitch. Yes! It's a hard hit ball. And this gets through, everybody. It gets through the left field. He will stop it. And that's not good no, not for the rotary, especially when You're already. Line up, yeah. Yep. But rotary's got to be uh, careful is not let this game get away from him. Yeah, you only have by four. It's not much. Where the base is up, it, it can be quite ugly. Here comes the pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Come at that Nick Pinnell at the bat, and Nick pulled his head all over the place on that one. Now, and that was high as well. Again, he kind of gave that one to uh, Josh. Here comes down the pitch, and that's going to be high for ball one. And one of the things that they got to be careful of doing is screaming and not allowed to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Here comes down the pitch, and that's in there for strike number two. One ball and two strike, and that looked good for uh, Josh Vaughn. Yep. A big point here, Josh can keep him from not just waiting on it. Yep. All right, here comes down on the pitch. Josh, that was way out. There goes the runner down second base. The runner will advance. That was a wild pitch from yeah. Josh Vaughn. Matthew did a good job of scooping that thing up back there. It was just there. too far back for him. It was though. just too far, way outside too far. Now the runner's in scoring position. Here comes Josh Vaughn. He throws it. Swing and a miss. Strike number three. And that big number one out comes up. And I believe that brings, brings up, up uh, Walker. Yep. The minor leaguer. Here comes uh, the pitch. Goes a runner. Oh, no, uh, the runner was thinking about going. And he has the ball. He's like, nope. Brandon Parrish started to go back to back up. Yeah, Wilkinson had an idea of going, but yep. he said, yeah. Kick the ball. Out of pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, that was a gift. Way high one, yeah. That was, poor, poor Walker should have never gone for that one. So one ball and one strike now to Walker. Here comes the windup. Here comes the pitch. That was no. way. That way inside and kind of up to. As a floater, actually. And you don't want to lose this guy. No, you need to you get that second out. Very important. Very important, especially with the top of the lineup yep. coming up for Chamber. Here comes now the pitch, and that one's going to be fouled back. And there for strike number two, two balls and two strikes. So, two and two now is the count now to Walker. Here comes now the pitch. And this one's going to be a high fly ball. Peyton Lawson calls it, and he will catch it with a second out. Good job, Peyton Lawson. Yep. And now they come to the top of the lineup. That brings up uh, Perkinson at the bat with Drew Pumphrey, in, Drew Pumphrey on deck. Uh, Wilkerson's still there on second base for a chamber. Josh Bond now winds up, pitches it, swing and Ooh, a miss. In there, strike That was another ball. outside one that kind of gave to him. Perkinson has been having some trouble today, kind of hitting consistently, trying to change his luck here against Josh. 
Here comes now the pitch. Josh oh, Bond puts that one right in the dirt. Boy, Matthew did a good job picking, scooping that one up. Did you see that? Yeah. That saved probably that run into advancing the third. We got two outs. The wind up. Here comes now the pitch. And this one's right. a tough one. It doesn't matter. Right. right to oh. second. They're going to try to throw him, in. he's got him. Peyton Lawson stretches it. And for the third and final out. One man left on. No score. And it's 6-2. to two. We'll be right back right after these messages. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free! And then you know it's a Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Lexington Square Shopping Center. All right, back here at Miller Field as we go now to the bottom of the fifth right now with a 6-2 to two rotary lead. And rotary still got some big batters coming up. Ben Angel starting out, followed by Matthew Harden. After that, Tom Parrish. Ben Angel is uh, one for two for the day with an RBI to his name. He's had a pretty good day. Hopefully he can continue his luck here against RD. R.D. left-hander sometimes kind of throws right-handed batters a little bit. Yeah, takes a while to get used to him sometimes. Remember, 12 o'clock uh, will uh, will be the uh, probably start our broadcast uh, somewhere around 11:30, 11, quarter to 12, for closing ceremonies. Yep. And the White Elephant will be going to Lunenburg for the Dixie Youth. Not right away, though. Yeah, not right away, but that's where we're going. I think these will all pack up, man. Here comes down a pitch. Swing and a miss. And there's strike. strike number one. That was a strike. He, uh, uh, if it was, it was a little, if it wasn't, it was a little outside. He almost had to swing at that one, I think. So, Ben Inge got one strike. Here comes the wind up and the pitch. Oh. That one's going to be way inside for ball one. One ball and one strike. Had Ben Inge running for his life that time, he was down the dirt to avoid that. Yeah, we that was a little bit wild there. Yeah. One and yeah. one is a count. Here comes the next pitch. Oh, oh that, that was way. way. Hey, 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 that should have been. He swung at that one. He gave that one hard. The catcher had to retrieve that one from the dirt. One ball and two strikes. Here comes now the pitch. And swing and a miss. Strike three. Now bring out Matt Hart. Followed by Brandon Parrish. Yep. Matt is Here comes the meeting on the mound. Matthew is one for one for a day. Yep. Here comes the meeting on the mound, and here they're not going to throw Matthew down the squat. Knees, dirt, <laughs> whatever. You just avoid uh, throwing a good one. I don't think you'll see very many down the middle. Yeah. Matthew gets So You watch that and see, how, see what they do to Matt. Here comes now the next pitch. That was oh, right. Brought that one right down there. Oh, hey, better be careful throwing those to Matt Hart. Come on, Matt. Let's go. Here comes the next pitch. That was in there for ball. Nice job by Matt being patient. One ball and one strike. You wait for your pitch. You don't sit there and swing at all, all, all the junk there. Here comes now the pitch to Matt. Hard oh, hit ball. That's going, going, going. Into the trees, over the light. It's a home run. I don't know what that one I lost that one. Hart, and that ball went straight to the south of the border. Went all the way. And if they want that one, they better get their passport. That was probably <laughs> close to 300 feet. 
Matthew finally got hold of that one and away it went. Well, we saw the mistake though. RD just put it right down the middle like he got away with it one time. He thought he could do it again and he paid for it. They brought that one right down the middle. That's a Matt. perfect middle one too. And that was Matt right just on the middle. Matt ran that one, and that ball, that ball went so high that could went over the trees, over the lights. That would have been, I think, about 300 feet. And they will feet. probably not retrieve. They're going to have to give Matthew a ball, just mark it, home run <laughs> ball, because no <laughs> one's going to find that thing. That's a home run number seven this year, right? Home run number seven by Matt Hart, and that will bring the. the you wanted another score. And that's one. one yep. Yeah. Wow. Seven to two now is the score, and that thing went out of here. Well, like I said, Artie just made the mistake. He put it right down the middle in that perfect and spot. He's got, to, he's got to watch and not do like the said, same thing. Brandon Parrish can knock it yeah. out. And that was going to be in there strike. for strike number yep, one. Both the plane. No balls in one strike. Yeah, I think what, what happened with R.D., R.D. got away with it one time. He threw a gun down the middle. He thought he could do it again, and Matthew just, you know, took it out of the park on him. Here comes the next pitch. Swing and a miss. Uh, strike his head. Two. Your head went up, and that's what yeah, falls out. The head was looking up there at the two lights, you know. R.D. Brand needs to kind of like settle RD. down, follow the ball the entire way, you know, get his hit. You hear me? He doesn't need another home run. All he needs is a hit right now. Whatever you like. So, no balls and two strikes. Here comes a pitch. That that's one's going to be low up. for ball one. Brandon Parrish is a power hitter. Oh, yeah, he, can knock it, he can knock it out as well. I don't think he's had very many home runs, but he has nailed a lot to defense this year, that's for sure. Here comes now the pitch. Hard hit ball that was a foul ball, I mean. That was going to be in there. It's Calvin made the same one ball and two strikes. So one one score this inning. Matthew Hart with a just kind of a solo home run. Nobody was on base. I think uh, Brandon kind of swung a little bit high that way, clipped the top of the ball, sent it into the ground, so all that power is wasted. Now, R.D. kind of backs off the mound. Now comes back up. Here comes down the pitch. And this one's going to be foul back. And the count remains the same. One ball and two strikes. Brandon stays alive. That's how you do it. Hey, Ryan, good pitch. Ryan, good pitch. Good pitch, Ryan. Look, at, look how far everybody's playing back. And that no, one's going to be outside. That's ball number two. Two and two is the count. A good job on uh, Brandon there holding back. There. I know he wanted to swing. You see that arm cocking back like he wanted to do it, but he infield, held it back. Infield playing all the way to the grass. Here's a hard hit ball. That was going, going. And, yeah, it's, and it's gone. I can back home. Hard run by Brandon Parrish. And boy, boy I will tell you what, if, it's, hey, if you want to go back to last year, and the last time this has happened is when JoJo McMillan, Matt Hart knocked one over, and then all of a sudden, here comes Brandon Perry. I, I, I feel for R.D. out there, but yeah, I mean, he's, those are good hitters. I mean, what can you do? And you know what? I hate to tell him that. Yep. Chamber needs to call a timeout right now and go talk to their pitcher because he, he just got disparaged pretty badly. Well, one of the things uh, that you got to realize in this in, in this game or in this this level of play, yeah. when you're talking about. Matt and some of these power hitters, you can't just pitch it down. No, not in the middle. Very He's many and get away with it without the ball sailing out of the park. Yeah. But actually, those were good pitches. Those are good pitches. He yeah. I mean, capitalized on them. Peyton Lawson is up. That one's inside. Ball one. I think that may be in uh, uh, Brandon's first home run this year too, right? Yep. Yeah, good for him. Eight. So it's eight to two. Here comes down a pitch. Foul that ball coming inside there. Strike number one, one ball and one strike. Oh, really, R.D. needs to just calm down. You know, think this happens sometimes. You know, it's calm down, throw good strikes. All I need to do. Here comes the next pitch. That one's going to be high, and I think really R.D. may have been shaken up. Yeah, I mean, and I can shake anybody. I told really. you before. As soon as it happens, you need to call time and just have a talk with them. That's all. You, you're not doing. Not get pulled. You just need to have a talk with them. Uh, yeah, that was way inside. See now, R.D. going to be in that ball three. And R.D. having trouble paying those corners now. Yeah, see, there we go. And there goes the time. I think you should have done that about three pitches ago, personally, but or four pitches ago. But is that talking? I'm not gonna pull him out or anything. You just gotta hey, say, hey, calm down. Stuff happens. You're not anywhere you were shaped now that you were two, you know, couple, you know, three batters ago. You're only down by two, two, two runs. It's not like they uh, are going down by two more runs. Well, see the difference with like Drew Plumfrey. Drew was. If you when we look at if you look back on the tape, you'll find out that you'll see Drew trying to hit the inside corners yeah. with Matt and trying to, you know, he wasn't going to get Matt anything that he can just get a yeah. hold of and pop it out of here. What happened, I think, is with the first time with Matt, Matthew, R.D. got 
gun went on middle, he got past me. He, he thought he started feeling pretty good about it and tried it twice and he got burned for it. It happened. Again, you know what happens. Again, calm down, just throw strikes, all you need to do. All right, here comes the pitch. Three balls, one strike. And that was going to be ball four. And now walk uh, and now Payton. Payton, Payton Lawson will be coming up, and that's going to bring up Justin uh, Hardy. Uh, you go to a tall guy to a short guy. Yeah. Justin Hardy, uh, 0 for 2 for day, been having, you you struggling a little bit. Shorter guy, though, so you're right. It's going to be a very small strike zone. Hardy's kind of like got to throw the needle now. So, runner on first base, one out. Outside. That one's going to be outside. There, there goes Peyton Lawson zooming on down to second base. Yeah. One ball and no strikes now to Justin R.D. R.D. winds up, throws the ball. That's going to be high in there for ball number two. Yeah, he's just having a hard time throwing the needle now. Well, sometimes that happens. Yep. I mean, again, sometimes you just get beaten up on. I mean, like I said, what happened to Magic in the All-Star game last year? Uh, uh, they call him that one. Well, it's you get Charlie high, yeah. County. Well, you want to look at it, if you want to, like, turn the tables, I look at the uh, uh, the game when uh, Drew Pumphrey knocked it out on Matt. Yeah. And Matt threw one of his, one of those stinger fastballs, and Drew just, took Drew it out just out got a hold of it good, and out it went. Yep. Well, that brings up three balls and one strike now. Here comes now the pitch. That was way low, and that's going to put runners on first and second with a base on balls. Yep. That brings up uh, Tom Parrish. Tom 0 for 2 oh. for the day. The problem is that now puts runners on first and second, like you said, so they can get them out on every bag now. Swing and a miss. And that was a pretty good pitch, that I was think. A good that pitch, was a pretty yeah. good pitch. So he had to swing at that one. Well, he's, he's calm down, throw strikes, like I said. And that's another good, that was another good pitch. I mean, he's out of the meat of the batting order for uh, Rory now. This is a time you just need to relax and throw your strikes and, you know. And that was going to be they're not on. on. <laughs> Hope they're not on tonight. <laughs> We've seen when the ball of the batting order is on, it gets kind of ugly for the other team. Well, the thing is, so far, both of the scores have been two, you know, back-to-back -back home run, back-to-back -back jacks by Rotary. So when you go into the All-Stars and stuff like that, you wouldn't expect this. Oh, um, uh, that looked awful close. close. Oh, that fell in. That, that looked a... awful close. That's in there for strike number two, one ball and two strikes. Yeah, that's a ball at the time, yeah. So now we'll all right, one ball and two strikes. Here comes the pitch, way, way high. high. And, and everybody's going. going to advance. They're going to try him at third. He's going to slide in. He's safe. And now the advance runners will advance with only one out. So Rotary's in, in another scoring position. Two balls and two strikes with one out. It's eight to two in favor of the Rotary. We're here in the bottom of the fifth. Here comes now RD pitching for the chamber, winds up, here comes the delivery. And that one's going to be way inside. That's going to be in there for ball three. Full count situation for R.D. Okay, full count. R.D. is uh, over one in full count situations. So here comes down the pitch. Wind up. And that was way inside. Base on balls. That loads the bases up. And boy, if you're chambered, this is exactly, exactly the opposite uh, direction you want to go. Bobby Williams at the bat now for the uh, rotary. Bobby 0 for 2 as well. Meredith will be on deck. And it looks to me that R.D. has slowed down quite a bit. Here goes down the pitch. Oh, and he shouldn't have swung it that one way low for ball one. I mean, strike number one. Strike one, yeah. Well, like I said, I think R.D. Got, has gotten flustered what's happened. You know, it, it, those two home runs are pretty devastating right in a row like that. And this one's going to be a hard hit ball. And it's bobbled. It could be interesting. Did he going to get him? Yes. They get him at second base. But a run will come in. But another run will come in. That will make it 9 to 2. So he gets actually a base uh, RBI. Yeah, yep. And that brings up Yenne Meredith for two outs. Yenne Meredith has uh, not hit anything today. Yeah, he's. Uh, uh, I don't think he has. It. No, he's 0 for 2. Yep. But. One pitch is down there. He can get a hold of it, too. Yep. I remember last year, 
during the last game that we played uh, VFW. And uh, Yende hit one and it went all the way to fence at Beamer Field. Yep. And uh, his eyes got as big as saucers. That was and like, uh, Joe's come out to swoop off the uh, play because he couldn't see that good. And when a runner runs across and kicks a lot of dirt on the plate, it gets dirty. You got to sweep it off. That's <laughs> 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 by John Madden for the day, by the way. 92 is the score. Here comes the wind up and the pitch. Hard hit ball. This one's going straight up. They're going to call it. They're going, it's going to be in the hole. Oh, it's ball. Ball. And it's it. Now another run is going to score. They're going to try to get the man out at second. He has to tag him and he's safe. Another run will score. So that is going to be 10 to 2. Nope, 11. 11 to 2. You know, rains and pours for our poor, uh, poor chamber, huh? And that is going to bring up Josh Tiller. Good hit by Yende. His first hit today, double and two RBIs. So <laughs> nothing wrong with that, right? If Tiller should get on for some oh, reason, that, that brings up the fearsome foursome of the yeah. of the rotary lineup That's once again. Okay. Josh is uh, 0 for 2 for the day. Yep. The Here comes the wind up the pitch. And oh, strike. Side. He no, calls it a strike. That was a strike. Was no, that was a strike. I see. Oh, okay. it was a strike? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a strike. And look away. He... When he jumped back, that yeah. looked like, you know, he was he way spooked, inside. But it, was, it was an inside one, but it was a strike. <laughs> All right, swing and a miss, and it was strike two. Good right here, Come on. RD is one strike away from inning, in other words, a disastrous inning. Oh, that went low for ball one. Mm. Indy threads to go to third, but uh, goes right back. 11 to 2 is the score. And Rotary's just kind of opened up, opened up on him in the uh, first and the fifth inning here. I mean, I wouldn't quite say it's out of touch now, but it's pretty close to it. It's going to be a hard thing to come back from. Here comes out a pitch way inside. There goes and, the uh, third. He's going to try. They're going to try to get him at third. He slides in. He is safe. So Yende advances the third base. Last time they scored this many was in the first bottom of the first inning. When uh, Rotary jumped out to a five to nothing lead, Rotary has to look back. Chamber came back in the uh, fourth inning, scored two quick ones. Yep. Ever since then, though, nothing is happening for our Chamber too much. Here comes down the pitch, and a swing and a miss. Strike right number three, and that retires the side. One man left on, but they scored a whole bunch of them. They scored five, and it's right now 11 to two. We'll be right back right after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, Call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free! And then you know, it's a Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Lexington Square Shopping Center. Well, here we are at the top of the six right now. Top of the six. Drew Pumphrey will be coming to bat first for Chamber, and their last chance to uh, they have score nine points. Actually, nine just to tie it up. Last chance hotel for the Chamber. Here comes now the pitch, swing and a miss by Drew Pumphrey. And they got a piece of it, but the result's still the okay, same. Drew strike Pumphrey. one. It's a uh, strike one. Let's Josh go. now winds up from the strike position, foul back, strike two. Hey you guys, two strikes real quick against uh, probably, arguably, uh, Chambers' best hitter. 
Well, one thing for sure, if, you, if you're a chamber, here's the guys that you want up. Oh, yep. true. They, uh, they'd have to go a long ways to go to get no. to this game. Oh, yeah. Here comes the pitch, and this one's going to be a fun Oh, go past the right oh, hand. And Ben oh. Hinch cannot believe it. He just... A little bit of a oh, feeling error that time. No, oh, he, a feeling error. He's in, he can't believe it. The ball came to him. He's, it, it, it was he an easy, it was an easy <laughs> thing. That just went right through and he just couldn't believe it. That brings up R.D. R.D. Uh, one for two for the day. Here comes now the pitch. Swing and a miss. That was high. He swung and hit nothing but air on that one. That'll be an air for strike number one. No balls and one strike now to Ryan Dalton. R.D. R.D. Pitch is left hand, but that's right. Two pump feet for Chamber on first. Here comes out a pitch. And a nice strike by Josh Vaughn. And now Josh Vaughn is coming back and pitching good. Yeah. Well, that was the last chance here, too. I mean, he's the last, last, last inning he's pitching in the uh, Dixie as well. Yep. They're stopping. Everyone's stopping, kind of looking at each other. And he takes his glove off, moves his fingers around a little bit. Okay, set back up again. No balls and two strikes. He'll come down the pitch. Hard oh, hit ball. That goes. They're going to easily get second. They're going to try for the double two play. Late. Don't quite get it, but a nice play defensive by Rotary, and that'll bring up out number one. So, R.D. gets on base with a fielder's choice. They got Drew out at second base, but almost a double play. And now brings up Bronson. Josh Gabonson, one for one for a day with a walk as well. First one's a strike. Yep. DJ Coleman will be on deck. Here comes now the pitch, wind up, swing and a miss, and there for strike number one. They almost oh, that was close. Close. That was very close, yeah. Artie, better be careful out there on first base. He almost got burned. Remember, you got Matt Hart and you got Let's Matt Hart go. at the third ball Let's pitch. Go, here goes the pitch. This one's going to be high. And boy, see, look, he lost and will come in and get on first. And Matt got that big old right off, right-handed arm cock back ready to throw him out. Here comes down the pitch. There it goes. He's going to try to get him again. And boy, twice now, it was a close one. Let's go. Let's go, John. That's going to keep R.D. on first base. Let's go. Two and two is the count. Swing and a miss, strike number three, and that brings up the second out. Josh Bonson will go back, and nice, nice throwing by Josh Bond. Yeah, that's two outs now, so that brings him well, one more out from getting out of this game. That's got to be good for Josh Bond and his confidence. Yeah, he Some had of the trouble he's had the last couple of games, this time he's pitched really good so far. Here comes down the pitch, swing and a miss, strike number one. <laughs> just, I think Matthew's just having fun now going to the uh, throwing the first base over and over again. Here comes now the pitch from Josh Bond. Everyone's going to be high. And it almost throw it again. The thing is, uh, Justin Harvey has got go. to back up yeah. when that happens and he's not doing it. But with a club with a loving with a loving to two lead. Who passed, right? Go, DJ, Here comes out a pitch. Swing oh, and a miss. And here for strike number two. And you know what? R D I think could have made that one, but I think he's so spooked now by those guns down to it first. Got to be happy with that. That's two strikes though. One more strike and that's the game. So, here it is, third and final pitch. Well, oh, well not quite. There was R D to second. R D will roll down the second base. That's going to bring up one ball and two strikes. So one ball, uh, so the count is what, two and two now, isn't it? Uh, no, one ball two. and two strikes. Here comes the pitch, and that's foul a foul back. That yeah, brings up one ball and two strikes. Still the same thing. So DJ's trying to hang in there. Played for the Lions this year, but... Playing for a chamber tonight. Playing for chamber tonight. Go get her. It gets in my last game, too. But technically, since the you know, Lions are let's playing them, maybe that's all right. Let's go, DJ. Let's go, DJ. Let's go, DJ. comes down the pitch. Oh, it was in the think... dirt. And that brings up ball number three. Let's go, two, two. DJ. Two. Let's go. So the count goes two and two. Right. Runner on second what? base for the chamber. Oh, Here comes down the pitch. And that one's going to be uh, no. ball number three. Four. Really? I thought it was three balls. Yeah, it must have been ball number four. 
<laughs> okay. He has runner on second base, so we got two outs. Jamie Height up the bat. Jamie one for two for the day. Oh, so Josh Pond now winds up, throws it, swing and a miss. Triton number one, nice pitch. Yep. Let's go, Jamie. Here comes the next pitch. Hard hit ball, and it gets through. One run will score. Uh, Justin Harvey will pick up the ball and throw it on in to Josh Bond. Now we'll make it 11 to 3 for the rotary lead. So, Chamber gets another, still hangs in there with two outs. Runner on first and second, on third for Chamber. Now they're going to have a quick meeting at the mound. Yeah. Those are the infield. Matt Hart catching. He just stays where he's at. He's <laughs> well, come on, one's out of this here, you know. Here comes out a pitch, swing and a miss. Stevie Yancey, Yancey. Right number one. Stevie Yancey at the bat. Stevie Yancey's gonna have some trouble this trouble this, this game. He's uh, over two. And they're on hold. All right. Let's go, Stevie. Here goes the pitch to Stevie Yancey. Strike. And now it's strike number, number two. two. One more strike for uh, the ball game. For the last time. Come on, let's go, Steve. Let's go. Come on, Steve. Let's go. Here it is. Here's the pitch. Swing. Oh, he broke the plane. Number three, and that is great. Oh, he lucked out. Oh, he lucked out. He broke the plane, bud. Frank gave him, gave him a that present. Oh, that was a good sportsmanship. That was Frank. Good job. This is your last game. You don't want to go out like that. Let's go. One ball, two strike. Here he comes, winds up, and that one's going to be low. That brings a count two and two. Two balls and two strikes. Want to thank everybody that's involved with the Southside Sports Network. Let's go, Steve! Uh, all three of us. Uh, no it's going to be in there for ball number three. That's and that brings a count to full. If he does it, he'll fill the base. Let's go! Let's go, Steve! Let's go! Let's go, Steve! Let's go! Let's go, Steve. Let's go. Three balls and two strike. Here comes down a pitch. Oh. And that was going to be yeah. four. Yeah. And that, that blows amazing. the bases up for Chamber. That was two outs. That was been a good year. I think I have a little talk with uh, Josh there. This brings up uh, Graham Wilkerson. Graham is uh, one for two as well for today. Come on, Let's go. Swing and a miss. Oh. Fired that one down here. Right the They're trying to really cheer his team along. Yeah. Here comes the next pitch. And this one's going to be a hard hit. Foul out of play on the left-hand side. Oh, so much target nailed. And that's going to be in there. I don't want to strike number two. I'm glad I didn't park over there. No kidding. It's just, I mean, that's just asking for trouble parking over there. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. At least where I park the trees kind of guard me. No balls and two strikes with two outs. 11 to 3 chamber lead. They're down to the last strike. They've been, they've been down that three times already, so maybe they'll pull the miracle out here. We'll play a commercial, come back and wrap things up right after this. Josh Bond now walks, and now they call no play. Now Josh Bond walks up in the stretch position. Base is loaded. No balls and two strikes. Here comes down the pitch. Way low, one ball and two strikes now. Yeah, and Josh has been having trouble here sealing the deal here. He's been at two outs here for quite a while. Fortunately, they're not at the top of the batting order, but this is where you can lose a lead real, real, real fast. fast. Yeah. Rotary's still got a pretty good lead up here. Here comes the wind up and the pitch. Got and him. that one's going to be oh, high. Oh, high. high. Ooh, that was close. A little bit high. Now. That was almost a chest level, chin level. Okay. So two and two now is the count with two outs. Here at the top of the six. Here's the wind up, the pitch. Well, and right. that one's going to be in Brady's account the full. Three balls and two strikes. Here comes the pitch, the wind up, swing and a miss, strike number three, and Rotary wins the game. 
All right, we're going to be right back right after this to wrap things up right here on the Southside Sports Network. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Oh, okay, we're just back here at Miller back. Field. And, uh, well, that ends it up for uh, all the regular season games. And yep. uh, what a season it's been. Matthew Hart, seven home runs this year. Not bad. Uh, did very well behind the plate. Uh, Brandon, Brandon Parrish. First home run here. Way to end it, right? The last yep. game. Brandon right? Parrish hit a one over the fence as well. And uh, he's had a fairly decent year. So now the next thing is All-Stars. And, of course, we'll be taking the White Elephant team out to Lunenburg. And that will be on the 8th. Bobby, thanks for working with me. It's been great. Yep. Wish we could have sold a little more DVDs. Remember, these, Wish DVDs, I more two DVDs. Uh, these DVDs are still for sale. We, yep. we, we keep these on record. So all you got to do is just, uh, Robbie, tell them how to, to get a hold of you on, through the website. Got to be uh, Robert at WPEXonline.com. So we're going to go ahead and end it there from Miller Field. And Robbie, I say it's been nice working with you. And our next stop will be... He, uh, at Lindenburg. Yep. So I'm John R. along with Robbie Hart and everybody that's affiliated with the Southside Sports Network. Good night, everybody. We will be talking to you a little bit later on. Have a good one. Bye-bye, folks.